Yo, what is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Zero Fox Shot video. So, predominantly I make piss take military content. Um, and we have a goof and a laugh and talk about the news and what's going on around the forces community. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a fucking long time. So we're going to react to a top 10 special forces video. Uh, recently I've been getting into these top 5 lists, top 10 lists and stuff. Uh, and I want to check some out. So uh, let's do one. Today is top 10 most badass elite special forces by uh, watchmojo.com. Uh, they've got all these different clips and ranks them at 10 to 1. Uh, I'm going to have a look. Uh, and react with you guys and give you what I think. Alright, the first one starting off with the GIGN. -I Let's do this. National Gendarmerie Intervention uh, System. GIGN France. are fucking such a After cool the group. Deadly terrorist attack at the 1972 Olympics in Munich, France assembled an elite SWAT team designed to specifically deal with hostage situations, but whose expertise is although their operations are largely classified. The successful rescue of 166 hostages from a hijacked Air France flight in 1994 solidified so the GIGN's sick. reputation for... Oh shit, that guy almost fell off the door. As the GIGN entered, a gun battle ensued at a distance of only five feet. The muzzle flash was okay, seen in this footage through the cockpit window. Five feet range nine, as soon as they got out the door. Right, okay, Poland. When Poland sends in their special forces... Okay, it's actually now the next day. Um, Technical issues, let's carry on with the list. Okay, so next up is the JW Grom, number nine, Poland. Poland. When Poland sends in their special forces, they bring the thunder, quite literally too, since that's what Grom when means the, in when several When Poland sends in the special forces, After they send After a couple the of hammer. unsuccessful nice. proposals, the, the Polish government finally agreed to form a counter-terrorism unit in 1990, following the takeover of one of their embassies in Switzerland, as well as the shooting deaths of two Polish diplomats in Beirut. Yeah, they have an embassy in Switzerland, some of the most they got taken over. In the world, such as Delta Force and no, the SAS. This group of soldiers so specializes in creating havoc behind enemy lines, along with severely Isn't disrupting oh, terrorist enforce. activity. Apart from being expert killers, three quarters of the world are still using the old S10 respirator. The best defense to be fair. is a good offense. That's how it. Number eight, Sarayat Matkow. Sarayat Matkow, Israel. Sarayat Matkow, Israel. This top Israel. secret branch of the Israeli Defense like, Force um, specializes in deep reconnaissance yeah, like and intelligence pathfinders. gathering techniques. It is closely modeled after the British SAS. There you go. So far as to even borrow their motto: "Who dares wins." You can't, you can't steal someone's motto like that. After completing a rigorous and exhausting selection process, recruits undergo approximately a year and a half's worth of training, including a year and a half's worth of training and oh. multiple forms of combat, such as Krav Maga, a brutal style of self-defense that was created by the IDF itself. I'm pretty Unlike sure Israel's that naval commandos, the Israeli Shia defense force that use Sadiath Matkal is primarily a that strategic gets to the SS as well. missions are meticulously the, uh, planned Krav Maga. and are so secretive that they're not allowed to wear their insignia in public. Because yeah, of the deniability is the name special of the game. Forces Israeli soldiers the killed the guards. They busted into the hangar where the hostages were. Uh, they killed all the terrorists, and they got all the hostages and flew out. Number seven, special services group, ah. Pakistan. We've done a video of roughly 5,600 soldiers, the SSG has been active since 1956 that video. and has been the main um, special operations unit that, of Pakistan's army. They were the members who I said they were on else, physical so. preparation with only a small uh, percentage British of hopeful British, recruits yeah. making it through the process. They have conducted exercises with elite forces from the United States, Turkey, as well as China, refining techniques in mounted warfare, and are also regarded as having one of the toughest combat diving courses in That's, the world. I've heard that before that they're combat such diving close proximity courses. To Afghanistan. Like this unit has been a key the Navy player SEALs in the war on terror like, and is credited as being it, responsible for the death of the global operations chief of Al Qaeda. Number six, Special Air Service Regiment, Australia. These boys are fucking hard as fuck. The uh, SESR, Australian SAS. Yet another group copied after the training and selection process of the British SAS. Australian Special Forces breed some of the deadliest warriors on the battlefield. So true. The main focus of this regiment is counter-terrorism, peacekeeping, as well as quelling domestic situations. Yeah. Recruits are hand-picked from within the military, then weeded out during an intense three-week course where prospective trainers are subjected to this. a battery of YouTube physical and mental SES evaluations. Are, Smaller um, reconnaissance squads selection. skilled in evasion tactics allow them nails. to slip in and out of enemy territory to gather intelligence, and are used to paint targets for surgical airstrikes. These guys can snatch up high-value personnel or blow up airfields faster than a dingo can eat a baby. I'm sorry, a dingo ate your baby. You know that's a true story. Lady lost a kid. Number five, JTF2, Joint Task Force 2. JTF2 are uh, a sick as fuck. We saw some of these guys out in Canada, uh, Ralston Camp. Oh, Canada, who even knew you had a team of special forces? Probably not many, because apparently it's mandated by the government to never mention their existence. 
but not only do they exist, they are also considered yeah, to be one of the most elite forces operating the, in the uh, world today. Active yeah, since right. 1993, there is little known about this highly classified unit, but they have played instrumental roles in arenas worldwide, such as Libya, Haiti, and Afghanistan. Their involvement in the rescue of three peacekeepers in Iraq was lauded by British and US officials. Apart from acting as bodyguards to military and government executives traveling outside of the country, they also helped secure facilities during the 2010 Winter Olympics. That's so sick. Far from the boat. Number four, Delta Force, USA. So this is where I get a bit confused. I get a bit confused with the American Special Forces because you've got Delta Force, 75th Ranger Regiment, and you've got obviously the standard US Marines, um, and you've got Green Berets and all that. I don't, I don't understand which does which role. So like Delta Force, um, are they the same as the Green Berets and, and so on? Whereas like we've got like obviously the Pathfinders and the Marines and the Paras, um, and then we've got the SES, SBS, and SRR. So we've got Airborne, Naval, um, Forward Observation in terms of like the Pathfinders, but then obviously the SES are um, Air Deployment and Mountain, and so on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really understand it. Can someone explain it in the comment section? Um, it's something I've never really understood. Officially known as the 1st Special Forces Operation Detachment Delta, it's almost impossible for a list like this not to include these bad boys. Established in 1977, well. like, this group of operatives excels at missions involving terrorism, hostage rescue, and reconnaissance. Like most other special forces, members are chosen from within the military, and the percentage of those who actually pass remains incredibly low. Out of my two classes of 120 people each, probably 12 to 14 made it. 90% of our best soldiers can't make it through selection. However, once successful, further vetting from the CIA can result in Delta operators inducted into even more oh, okay, get vetted by the CIA. That's pretty I cool. don't really know what they're looking for, because that's a secret. Although most of their operations are classified, their involvement has become known during Operation Desert Storm, as well as Operation Gothic Serpent, which was made famous in Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. <laughs> Number three. Alpha Group, Russia. These boys are godly as fuck. Are they different from the KGB? Is that if a different one thing? thing to learn from the history, KGB it's never to underestimate the Russian military. Forces, like, sure. never. While little is known about what exactly Alpha Group's primary objectives are, their scope has extended over the years from strictly domestic missions to include those abroad. We also know that no matter where they operate, it would appear collateral just damage is not the highest concern. He's just got shot in the chest three times. Whether it be assassinating a young boy while forcing a regime change in Afghanistan, or dozens of hostages being killed during a botched rescue attempt on home soil, Alpha will get the job done, even if they have to level an entire city block in the process. Hey, you know what they say about eggs and omelets, right? I love the uh, the Russian propaganda videos, like their special forces and stuff. It's not amazing. Number two, Navy, Navy Seals, Navy Seals again. USA. Unlike their Delta How brothers, this team of soldiers is widely it. acknowledged by the military and praised for their superior like, tactics in well, sea, Sierra air, and but... land. Hence, SEAL. SEALs. Yep. Sea, air, and land. Like like Marines. Trainees must undergo the trials yeah, and tribulations Marines. of the infamous Hell Week, a six-day endurance course where hopeful candidates undertake a series of grueling challenges, all while operating on less than four hours of sleep. SEAL groups are broken up into nails. teams of Fuck one that. to five and seven to ten, respectively with the specially designated Team yeah, 6, team six be being the best of the past, uh, requiring even SEAL more team. training than regular members. These are the guys responsible for killing Osama bin Laden and rescuing Tom Hanks, uh, we mean Captain Phillips, from Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. Execute! Before we come to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. See, look, There's United no States Marine Force. Work. Don't come here expecting yeah. someone to say thank you so much for what you're What's doing. What's the difference? You'll get that from civilians walking on the side of the road just for being in the military. Go, go, go! Detail Cobra. Is that dog fucking going out of the helicopter? Pass us. We all know who's going to be number one. Seeing as. What's this? Number one, Robert Special Zero, Air that. Service, SAS. So, so many, so many of the forces. Uh, special forces around the world use our techniques and our methods. Considered the um, best in the world, there there's go. a reason so many other countries have used these guys as a template for their own branch of special forces. For example, their endurance test is a notorious race against time, where troops traverse 40 miles in full gear over a mountain in 20 hours before having to run four miles in three minutes and fucking then swim nails. two miles in I've under never, nine minutes. Ever Although it's becoming harder to distinguish between the SAS and the SBS, 
which stands for Special Boat Service. The latter's diverse nature and additional training makes them better equipped to handle a wider variety of situations. And despite being active since World War II, their storming of an Iranian embassy in 1980 was what brought the regiment worldwide recognition. We will see now. All right, boys, that's going to be it for today. Um, what do you think? Was the list right? Was it wrong? Uh, do you see what I mean about having different US special forces? Who's who? What does what? I don't really understand it. And um, it's a little bit unfair having two special forces groups from the same country um, within a top 10 list. Like, it should be someone else. Um, I don't know, maybe one of the honorable mentions that they had before, but your own custom hashtag down in the comment section below for a shout out. But hashtag, I don't know. Um, yeah, there you go. Hashtag, I don't know. The most amount of votes on that one gets a shout out in the next video. Let's see who can win this. With some new videos dropping real soon. Uh, I'm having to pump out videos like this because, you know, I haven't done anything like this in a while and YouTube keeps demonetizing and restricting all of my content. So I might be looking at making a second channel for all the sort of more edgy stuff. But um, let me know what you guys think about that. Stick it in the comment section down below and uh, I'll see you all on the next one. As always, good luck, God bless, goodbye.